Hi, I'm Afra. Today I'm going to show you how we do a BAM calculus assessment. We do this assessment for make custom insoles so that the insoles are made much better. Now I'm going to do a uniportal test in which I'll ask the patient to stand on one foot. As you can see, her right foot is not stable and it is quite wobbly when she is standing on one foot. This means the foot muscle is not strong enough. So we have to give her more support in the insoles. So now you can see the navicular bone is dropping down medially and the heel goes into valgus. And from the posterior view, you can see only the last few toes and not the great toe. This means that the foot is pronating. So now I will perform a test to check the navicular bone whether it can go to the neutral position. So I will be holding the navicular bone from my thumb and I will be trying to lift it up so that I can see whether the foot is going into neutral or not. As you can see her medial longitudinal arch is flexible. So we can push the navicular bone in neutral position with minimal force. So now we are performing a first tree mobility test where we need to check the mobility of the first metatarsal joint. When we try to dorsiflex the great toe, you can see the medial longitudinal arch being flexible. So now I will be palpating the fat pad under the metatarsals. Since they are good enough, I don't need to give her a very cushioned sole. So now I will be dorsiflexing her all toes. As you can see, the plantar fascia is not too tight. We can give her a more supportive insoles. This was the first part of the biomechanical assessment video. We will be doing another video which will show the part 2 of the biomechanical assessment. Thank you for watching.